These guys are making millions of dollars on YouTube using a business called YouTube Automation. So in this video, I will show you how you can make up to $10,000 a month using some free AI tools. But before we get into the nitty gritty, that's my first and last time using that word. Anyways, let me explain what YouTube Automation actually is. YouTube Automation is a super cool business where you don't have to do all the work yourself. You outsource everything from creating scripts to designing thumbnails and even video editing. All you need to do as a creator is come up with fantastic viral ideas and make manage your team. Once your team has everything ready, you just upload the videos. Easy peasy. Back in 2019, I stumbled upon this crazy idea and decided to start my very own YouTube automation channel. And let me tell you, it made me mad profits. But I gotta admit, back then I had to pay for everything and it got expensive. But now, AI has come to the rescue and I'm back in the game ready to rock. So let's dive right into how to use AI and make your YouTube automation business successful. The first thing you gotta do is pick what you're gonna do on your YouTube channel. Don't just copy what's popular, that's a major mistake. If you don't choose something you're actually interested in, you might end up quitting before you even start making money. That would totally suck, right? So here's what you can do to find your perfect niche. Start by going to ChatGPT. Ask it for different faceless YouTube channel topics. Once you've got a bunch of ideas, rank them from one to 10. Put the ones you're most excited about as number one and the ones you're least excited about as number 10. Then search on Google to see if there are ways to make money from that type of content. Look for things like affiliate marketing or other money-making strategies besides ads. If you find at least two ways to make money from a niche you really love, then that's the one for you. If not, move on to your second favorite and keep going until you hit the jackpot. By the way, I've got a free PDF down in the description to make this whole process easier for you. So make sure to check that out too. The next thing is coming up with viral ideas. First step is go get a towel and start meditating until you get that perfect and juicy idea. Then make a video about it and you are in your way to get zero views because this is not how it works when you are just starting. First, sneak into YouTube using incognito mode on your browser. Look for stuff related to your niche and click on five videos that seem cool to you. Now, get back to the YouTube homepage. You'll see some recommended videos related to your niche. These are the ones that could be going viral. But hold up, we're not done yet. Check when those videos were uploaded. They should be pretty new, like within the last two or three months, depending on what your niche is all about. Next, take a look at how many subscribers the channels have. If a channel has a million followers but their video only got 100,000 views, it's not a viral idea. But if a channel with 10,000 subscribers managed to get 100,000 views on a video, then that's a viral idea right there. Keep repeating this process until you find that one awesome idea that's going to make your video go crazy viral. To make a good title, you need to know your audience well. Who are they? What do they like? And what do they want to see? Do some research to find the words that really connect with your viewers. Now, when you make the title, keep it clear and straightforward. Avoid tricky titles that disappoint people. Your title should catch their attention and deliver what it promises. Provide value in your video. And let's talk about keywords. They're like special words that help others find your video. Put the right keywords in your title, but make it sound natural, okay? To get people curious and excited, use strong words that touch their feelings. It could be fun stuff or something that interests them. Emotional titles can get more people to click on your video. Remember, don't be afraid to try different title styles and see which ones work best. What makes for a good title? Short? not just sure it's also if someone reads it do they have to watch it is it just so intrinsically interesting that it's just gonna fuck with them if yeah. they don't click on it ideally the title represents content that you would want to watch for 20 minutes so if it's a 20 minute video and the title is i stepped on a bug the click through rate is going to be much lower and then if it was like a five second video, people might click it. All right, so when you're making videos, the thumbnail is like the first thing people see and it can totally make or break their decision to click and watch. So you wanna make it super cool and eye-catching so it grabs their attention and makes them curious. If they click on it, that's awesome because it means more views and maybe even more subscribers for your channel. To make a killer thumbnail, think about what your video is all about and pick images that show that off. It could be a before and after picture, something really captivating or a sneak peek of the best part. Just make sure it matches your video's message. Oh, and you can add some text too with bold and easy to read fonts to tell a bit of a story. But wait, we're not done yet. You gotta test out your thumbnails to see which ones work the best with your audience. A-B testing is the way to go for this. You can check out the stats on YouTube to see how many people clicked on your different thumbnails and how long they watched the video. Pretty handy stuff. Now, when it comes to actually making the thumbnails, you've got options. If you're just starting out, Canva is a great choice because it's easy to use. But hey, if you're feeling more advanced,
advanced, you can go all out with Photoshop. Don't worry, it's not too hard to learn. Just check out some tutorials on YouTube. And after practicing for about a week, you'll be a pro at making awesome thumbnails for your videos. So get creative and have fun with it. All right, let's dive into voiceovers. So you've got two options. Use your own voice, or if you can't, just go for an AI-generated voice. My favorite pick for this is Eleven Labs, because they've got top-notch, super real-sounding voices, and they've got a massive library to choose from. Now let me share with you a cool trick. You can also use Eleven Labs to clown your own voice. And by doing that, you don't have to keep recording your voice for every new video. And before jumping to the video editing part, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is myself, so please subscribe. For the video editing, you can use Premiere Pro or Canva. All you need is to add some footage, the voice you generated earlier. It's not that hard. It can take a couple hours for an eight-minute video. If you don't want to do the work yourself, use Flicky or Pactory AI. They can generate good enough videos for your YouTube channel. And for the script, use your brain. You spent 12 years, the equivalent of 12,960 hours going every morning to school, and you can't even write couple pages of English words. Anyways, you can use ChatGPT to write the script, or Jasper I if you want to invest some money. I also recommend you to use AIPRM to find good prompts to generate the best possible scripts in ChatGPT. I've also got a cool trick for you. First, search for the video you want to make on YouTube. Then, check out what your competitors are doing by clicking on Show Transcript to see their script, and copy it. After that, head over to ChatGPT and ask it to rewrite the script for you. Voila! You'll have a really nice script for your video. Just remember, you might need to tweak it a bit to make it perfect for your own style. Now, all you gotta do is stick to a schedule and keep posting until you start making money from your content. It won't take too long if you follow the tips in this video. Maybe a month or five, depending on how hard you work. Once you're making money, it's time to level up. Outsource the work by hiring people from sites like Fiverr and Upwork to do some of the tasks for you. It might cost you between 40 to 150 bucks per video, but it's worth it if you want top-notch quality. That's all for this video. If you're interested, check out the next one.